What's up, guys? Real quick thing that I show people in classes, right? We don't need the firing hand to do much work. We don't need it to do much work at all. It literally has to hold the gun in place so that you have the right position of the gun in the hand, right? Puts the finger in the same place every time, and it ends up locking the wrist so that the wrist doesn't flop around, right? The support hand is what does most of the work. So, don't try this at home, but watch this. Right? If I get a grip here, right? Actually. Bring this over here so you guys can see. Right? If I get a grip here, right? Both hands. And then I take this hand away. Right? This is 40, 175 power factor. Outdoor dynamics. Right? And I aim on target and I just press the trigger. Watch the gun. Right? Here. Interesting thing about that, the gun looks pretty pretty clean. All right. And look at this. The shots stay reasonably tight. So this hand doesn't have to do much of anything. There's nothing low, there's nothing no low left there. That's your typical firing hand response. Don't try that at home, but that's for you guys to know just how much this hand is needed to do any recoil control.